Hello friends, welcome to some biology class. This is Dr. Subrat Kumar Mahanti. Friends, life evolved in water. As plants started moving from water to the land, they faced many challenges in their terrestrial existence. In order to survive on the land, plants developed roots and leaves. The main function of root is to provide anchorage and to absorb water and mineral from the soil. Leaves are the principal photosynthetic organ. They are also involved in gas exchange due to the presence of numerous microscopic pores known as stomata. As the distance between the leaves and the root increased, plants started developing complex tissues such as xylem and phloem. Xylem is a complex tissue through which long distance transport of water takes place from root to the rest of the plant. Phloem is another complex tissue which play a role in the long distance transport of photosynthesis from leaves to the rest of the plant. Leaves are the principal photosynthetic organ. Soluble organic compounds, mainly carbohydrate, in particular the sugar sucrose that is produced during the process of photosynthesis, is transported from leaves to the rest of the plant through phloem. This long distance transport of photosynthesis from leaves to the rest of the plant through phloem is known as phloem transport or phloem translocation. In order to understand the process of phloem transport, we shall discuss about various experiments that provided evidences in support of phloem transport. After this, we shall also discuss about the structure of phloem tissue and also about the nature of the substance that is transported through phloem. There will be a discussion on the source in concept and the process of phloem loading. Source is an organ or tissue where Soluble organic compounds are made in excess of its own use, for example, mature leaves, whereas sinks are tissues or organs that are mainly non-photosynthetic, so they depend on the sugar that is transported from leaves through phloem. Next, we shall discuss about the process of long distance transport with the help of bulk flow hypothesis. It will be followed by a discussion on phloem unloading and at last we shall also discuss about the allocation and partitioning of photosynthesis. Now we shall discuss about various experiments that provided evidence in support of Phloem transport. One of the earliest experiments that provided conclusive evidence in support of phloem transport is Gilling experiment. In this experiment, a ring of the bark containing phloem was removed from the trunk of a tree, leaving the wood intact. This is the trunk of a tree, and in this part, we have removed the bark containing phloem, but the xylem remained intact. As a result, the transport of water from root to the leaf was not affected, but the transport of photosynthesis downward from the leaf to the root was interrupted. As a result, there was accumulation of photosynthesis in the region above the gilling. So, this experiment provided evidence that translocation actually takes place in phloem. Another experiment was conducted with aphids. 
Experiments with aphids help scientists to understand the nature of the translocated material. Aphids are small insects. They can be xylem feeder or phloem feeder. Their mouth part consists of four stylets which are pushed into the phloem during feeding. The stylet was cut while the insect was still feeding. As the sap in the phloem is under pressure, so it oozed out of the stylet. This proved that the phloem sap is under pressure. The sap was then collected and analyzed. It was found that it is rich in sugar. This experiment conclusively proved that sugar is translocated in the phloem. Third experiment is with radioactivity. Tracer technique is very useful to trace various metabolic activities in a biological system. Radioactive isotopes can be used to inform us precisely about the location from where a radio-labeled molecule is transported and where it is utilized. In this experiment, leaves were allowed to photosynthesize in the presence of C14O2. Due to the incorporation of carbon-14 during photosynthesis, the sugars were leveled. After that, the plant was frozen in liquid nitrogen in order to kill and fix it. And the plant was placed onto a photographic film. The resulting autoradiograph indicated the location of radioactivity in the flow. So the experiment with radioactivity conclusively proved that translocation takes place in the flow. So friends, this is all about various experiments that provided evidence in support of flow and transport. In the next video, we shall discuss about the structure of flow.